It's your boy, Mr. Epic, back again on the most epic of it. And today, we know what it is from the video intro. It's gonna be something very legit, very awesome. We're all here checking out all the super troops. And we're gonna be seeing how they work and how they do their stuff. Because we're gonna find today, we're gonna figure out who the strongest super troop is. I'm on my rushed account, and here we're gonna start off with the barbarians. The super barbarians. Now, I'm gonna have to explain the rules while we watch this match. Barbarians are like powerful allies like they're like literally i think a super troop like the barbarians like the king's son at his highest level now i'm saying that we're doing this video in order to find out who's the best super troop and in my opinion i would say that the best super troop for, for you going into war with is like between either the skeleton witch inferno dragon or giant now me i'm putting my bets on the inferno dragon you guys put your bets on who you think is going to win this battle and who do you think is actually going to secure the three star victory or they're gonna do a two star make your predictions down there in the comments what each troop is potential really is for me i did my attacks this is my opinion seeing as this is how i did it myself i'd like to see your opinions now let's get on to business right now let's get serious mm -mm. oh wow the barbarians have been decimated wow that was fast Oh, that was not nice. 83%, one star. Barbarians are in first place. The only chance of them winning is if no one else beats that percentage. But a two star victory puts them automatically at the top. Well, that was tough. Now let's go for the next and the slowest troops in the game. The Giants. I am Giant. Mm -mm. Head up on my shoulders. Tell me what you see, cause I am giant. Ooh, ooh. Why am I singing to you guys? I know it's very annoying. <laughs> All right, guys, let's be serious. Now, my review of the super giants. Powerful. Very, very powerful. Health levels insane. These guys are unstoppable. They can only be stopped most likely by I don't know. I don't know if trampolines have invented, but. I've not seen any traps in this thing. We're using the trial base because it's the most even platform and I'm using my 11. My 13 and 12, well, I would have used them, but then pff, what's the point? You guys don't need, you know, should really see my Town Hall 13. I am 100% sure you guys don't should be ready for that base. We're not going to be ready to show it to you just yet. Either way, I'm thinking of starting a new Town Hall push to, okay, Town Hall Rush to Max series for Town Hall 10. Since my main Town Hall 9, the one I grew up with in CLC, is coming to a secretable finishing and we have to just get Dark Elixir. So I'm also going to steal that idea from Klaus. Dark Elixir time. But we'll be maxing out. But that's for the heroes. Once we're done the troops. Ugh. All those gents are going to die after they destroy that Inferno Town Hall. The bad thing is... See, I realize the Giga Tester and the Giga Inferno are really, really annoying things to take down with giants. If you're done with just these giant guys, you think you have a chance at beating them, but you actually don't. The giants are like hard to predict, guys, and that bomb just wipes out. There are only three left. And you guys, you'll never guess what happened from this point. I don't want to give you any spoilers. So, far the giant has secured a 61% victory. With a two star in coverage, it has already surpassed the level of the one and only Inferno. Wait, wait, no, 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 not the Inferno. Uh, the Barbarian. If the Barbarians hit the tower, trust me, they will be in a very high position right now. The right thing is, I don't think I placed the troopings right in all of this. Because the last time I did this trial, like the practice trial I did, there were better results, trust me. There were three, three stars by three, three crowns, troops, the. Sneaky goblins had actually almost come close to a 3 star and trust me If you know how to place those goblins right you can actually clean up a whole base in seconds Those goblins like I can say that Oh why am I talking about the goblins now let's focus on the giants Now the giants here the proud thing is them is that you cannot win this If you can clearly look at the time up there the recording button sorry I had I didn't have time to hide it You actually have to be shown for out this video because it is actually timing the giants. The giants take more than the required time in battle. So never 
ever think of going on with a full-on super troop dragon i mean giant takedown match because they literally waste time and you're like <sighs> time wasted and the bad thing is when you rage haste and jump spells are all cleaned out and your troops and here your heroes are gone actually with heroes and the right siege machine you can actually do it you can actually clean a base with a full layered fledged blood or breaking funny fat giants <laughs> i know freaking funny flat yeah no freaking funny fat giants try saying that three times fast freaking fat funny giants freaking fat fat giants <laughs> okay my tongue is twisted okay let's focus more on the battle let's see wow getting straight wow oh my god no 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 ah! come on ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. No. The Archer Queen smashed all of them. I think she's like a goat. That level 1 idiot just. Who does she think she is? We're gonna get her back for this. For sure. Now on to the giant so far. You saw the good percentage 89, 87. Now time for the sneakiest and steviest of all of them all. Ah, simple, simple little goblin. Oh yo, metro go, metro go, metro go. Raindrops. Cha cha. Hey, look at my name. This guy's a sneaky, by the way. You see, the rage and the clone is like it's like insane. I think you should save the clone. You should have put the clone around this area here. I should have done it instead of this around this area. Now, as after we clear up all the loot, wait for it. We're gonna take that town hall. Then there's also in that corner here is where all of us remaining sneaky goblins should be focused on. We have taken out the town hall. Which 34%. Come on, come on, come on, guys. And then this one is gonna go sneak there, get a good percentage. Wow, that was a fail. One star, 46%. That was a harsh, that was a harshy. Unfair for the fastest and most deadliest ground guys. Ground thieves, these guys are just for loot, in case you're just trying to max your base. Yep, now let's move on to the next big guy. The wall breaker's gonna smash it all right now. Well, rage, rage, crazy, crazy. Now, some dangerous music. These guys are just beasts. Under that rage spell, I think the wall breakers could just make the greatest opening in a base ever. I'm just saying, six, eight of these guys are enough to just make hell on the base. Trust me. That's all you need to just crash open a base. Like, wow. The last time I used these guys, 12% in this base, and it was just by randomality. I just wish I remember how to use that randomality. These wall breakers are insanely fast. We knew that the rolling would show these guys that they are beastly like nature is gonna smash everything off here come the new super troop the infernal dragon yeah we start these guys off and i think the infernal dragons are like beasts these guys are legit beasts just put them under a couple of rages and you need that freeze like i don't know where you even need that freeze like on a giga you need them for the infernals because the infernals really get these guys it's like a competition between these two who can blast off into heat fast and clearly it's the inferno tower now when I'm, as i see it these guys are like wipers they like swipe and wipe swipe wipe swipe <laughs> literally even the word swipe and wipe actually you can't even combine them because they already combined together and that's it inferno dragon crashes it breaking the record healed by the giants and the only troops in their way with a 100 percent destruction possibility chance is your truth we are only your little baby super witch and i don't think she has a chance at this because this is really tough let's get this really really serious Ooh, these guys are dangerous I'm not getting upset over being alone anymore they have the those infernal like packs like they hold their energy inside and blast strong now the witch is a problem 
I had a problem with the witch. I don't know how to use the witch. This is actually a, a Duncan Live direct match with the witch. And on that, you see the top, you see like the other top side where the inferno is like literally blasting on that witch. She actually, those witches on the other side actually died because I didn't focus much of them in the battle. But truth be told, we're not gonna use these original scores you're seeing here on screen. We're gonna use the past scores for the witch where she actually scored a whole total of the same with the barbarians except for her she claimed the town hall we may not use these active ones but i'm just gonna show you this kind of raid how the witch is just so that you guys can know how she works she working she working she working me oh yeah she working me oh my god she's dangerous look at how they take out the heroes in just seconds the big guys tank for the witches then the bad thing is that jump spell was not really necessary there you should like push that jump spell a little bit much more forward so it would do less damage on the queen because see that positioning right there would be a nice jump spell for every single one of these guys now there goes down one of the witches and yeah unfortunately that's how sad it is and we have to call it a day <laughs>